everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 24 chapter, The Beautiful House of God. Chapter 1, Kings 5 to 8. People were talking. What is, the, what is King Solomon doing? He is building a house of God. It will be a beautiful temple. Hiram, king of Tur Tur was a friend of David. Give me the best word to build the house of God, Solomon asked Hiram for the best word for the temple. King Hiram gave Solomon the best word. King Solomon gave King Hiram food for the, the people of Tyre. King Solomon sent 3,000 people to King Hiram to bring wood. Solomon had eight thousand stone cutters. Solomon had seven thousand carriers. He had over three hundred form three three thousand four men. The king made them to cut the stones. They let lay the foundation of the temple. Many people trimmed it, the stone to build a temple. Some people were walked with gold and silver. They covered it the inside of the temple with gold. They made many things for the temple. Some people worked with cloth. It took seven years for King Solomon to finish this temple. The, kid, the temple was big and beautiful. King Solomon gathered all the leaders of either, leaders of Israel, Israel. All the holy things were put in the temple. They worshipped God when they finished the worship. The temple was filled with God's cloud. The temple was filled with God's glory. King Solomon gathered all the people of Israel. They praised God in the new temple. King Solomon prayed to God with the people. We praise you. Please stay with us. People help us love you. The Israel were very happy because of the grace of God. 25 chapter, God fed Elijah. Chapter 1, Kings 17. Elijah told King Ahab, God will punish you. Punish the disobeyed king. There will be no rain for many years. King Ahab didn't want to hear Elijah. The king and his wife Jezebel tried to kill Elijah. Elijah had to run away. Elijah conveyed God's world, world to the king. Told God told him to escape from the king. Where shall I go? Asked Eliza. Hide in the curtain ribbon. It's of the Jordan and drink from it. God let him. What can I eat to live? Eliza asked. The 
there was nothing to eat at the curtain ribbon. God sent food to Elita every day. God sent rains with food. Rains brought bread and meat every day. Elita drank from the stream. Elita gave, sorry, God gave Elita good food every day. Elita prayed, thank you for the food, God. 26th chapter, Elijah helped the family. Chapter 1, Kings. It didn't rain for a very long time. The people of Carton Ribbon dried up. Uh, the Carton River dried up. The people didn't have enough food. The crops didn't grow well. Where should I get the food to eat? Elijah prayed. Go to Zorapad, a window will take care of you there. Elisa went to Zorapad when Elisa went into the town gate. A window was gathering sticks. Elisa said to her, can I have some water and bread? The woman said, My son and I only have enough flour and oil for a last meal. Elida replied, Don't worry. Prepare food. Bring the bread to me first. Then cook something for you, you and your son. God will not... Oh, sorry. God will not let you hungry until it rains. Your flour and oil will never run out. The woman did as Elijah said. Elijah, the woman and her son had enough to eat after that. God took care of the woman her and her son, son through Elijah. The woman thanked Elijah for giving her food. Elijah thanked woman for a, the good food. Chapter 27 A Room for Elijah. Chapter 2 Kings 4. Elijah often traveled to the town of Shaman. Please eat up with us when you pass our house. A uh, Shaman the woman said to Elijah, I know you work for God. We want to help you. Elijah was preaching God's world. The Shammite woman and her husband went to help Elisha. They invited him for dinner. Elisha liked to eat with them. Elisha knew they left God. The Shammite woman prepared something wonderful for Elisha. Elisha. She asked her husband to make something for Elisha. Come this way. The woman took Elisha to a nice room. There was a bed, a table, and a chair. Even a lamp was there. We made this room for room just for you. Whenever you want you are here, you can sleep in this room. Elijah was very happy to the, to see the room. It was a comfortable room. Thank you. You have prepared everything for me in this room, said Elijah. 
We are proud that we can work for you. We are happy to help you, said the woman. Yes, next. Today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I will read 28 chapter Naaman Met God. Then let's see you next time. Bye!